Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. Today on Suncoast FYI, we talk to campus and community engagement manager Tim Yeager and artist and instructor Michael White from the galleries at Ringling College of Art and Design. President Doug Tuthill of Step Up for Students and Lauren Eskew, a parent of a scholarship student. Members Ed Diana and Johnny G of the Gold Tones Music Group, all next on Suncoast FYI. Engagement manager Tim Yeager and artist and instructor Michael White join us in the studio to share with us upcoming gallery events at Ringling College of Art and Design. Hello, my friends. How are you? Wonderful. Hi. Thanks Welcome. for having us. You've got so much. We have so much going on at the college. I thought it would be nice to have you on today. So we're going to start with um, what is currently on view that all of our viewers can go see and enjoy. Great question. We have a lot on view, which is free and open to the public. Right now in our new Stolberg Gallery, we have our annual 2017 faculty exhibition. And just down on the south side of campus in the Willis Smith Gallery, we also have our annual Continuing Studies Instructors Exhibition on view in the Willis Smith Gallery. Okay, now the new gallery, just so our viewers know, is where the old Selby Gallery used to be, correct? It's That's in that correct. location. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's in the center of Martin Luther King Boulevard okay. facing the, the inside of campus. Okay, and there's a parking lot right on the corner of MLK and 41, so it's very convenient. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of upcoming uh, events. What, what should we know about those? Well, we have a really exciting exhibition that we're really looking forward to uh, showcasing, which is our General Motors exhibition. Real briefly, that's an exhibition about automotive design in the 50s as General Motors was really starting to come up mm -hmm. as a real competitor. So um, that's something that's free and open to the public and that will be on view uh, in October. Okay. Now, I know you're both involved with the con continuing studies program at the school. Michael, can you tell us a little bit how you're involved with that? Well, I've been involved since 93. And uh, wow. one, uh, one of the longest surviving instructors ever awesome. uh, in that program. <laughs> um, but I, I teach uh, various types of uh, classes, mm -hmm. and I also do the summer teen studio, which is a lot of fun. Um, and uh, I do workshops mostly these days. Okay. And, yeah. and these are your beautiful pieces behind us, I right? I brought in some of my pastel paintings because mm -hmm. that's a class that I teach periodically, landscape painting and drawing and uh, pastels. Okay, and uh, this is going to be the new cover of... And uh, this, yeah, I brought this especially for you today because I knew we'd all be wearing black oh, and gray. I can, I can take it home And we needed after. some color, <laughs> probably. Um, <laughs> That's going to be on, featured on the cover of the new uh, Continuing Studies and Special Programs uh, brochure. Okay. So at least I've been told. All right. Well, we'll see. You never know. I'd also okay. add that yes. uh, Michael's work is also currently on view in this in the Smith Gallery as part of the Continuing Studies exhibition. Okay. Right. And the public can get more information about these exhibitions, the locations, hours, okay. and much, much more by right. visiting our website. Yes. And you're a wonderful artist in your own right, and you're also in the... Uh, faculty show? Uh, my work is in the staff exhibition. Okay, staff uh, exhibition. And I too also yep. teach with the continuing studies and special programming okay. department. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what type of work do you create? Uh, mine is really loose, expressionistic, colorful paintings of people and animals. Mm -hmm. I love your animal paintings. So anything else you'd like to add about uh, continuing studies before we, we close today? Information to about the, the that program, all of its programs and structures, descriptions are available on the college's website at www.ringling.edu. Okay, and when are the, the new classes starting? Uh, enrollment's begun, uh, okay. so classes start uh, in a couple months. Yeah, various times. I think I have one starting in, uh, at the end of September, uh, just a one-day workshop. Um, I have, can't remember the exact dates, okay. but yeah, we're, we're ready to go. Okay. Now, <laughs> yeah. the continuing studies, is it, like you said, a one-day workshop? Are they week-long? Are they month-long or multi? Well, that's a great question because everybody's got a different schedule. Okay. And, uh, but also, uh, we understand that people uh, in the public, non-traditional mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. that would like to engage and, 
and uh, interact with these workshops have busy schedules too. So some are on Sundays, some are on Saturdays and Sundays, some of them are week long, it all just depends. Okay. I like Sundays. Okay. Yeah, Sundays is a nice chill yeah, day. Yeah, Sunday you can do a whole day workshop and go home and uh, feel good and about still it. watch Game of Thrones reruns. Cool. All right. Thank you both for being here. And uh, again, our viewers can go to the website and we'll put that across the screen for them. That'll be great. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Stay tuned to Suncoast FYI to learn more about a local scholarship program called Step Up for Students coming up next. about their scholarship program is President Doug Tuthill of Step Up for Students and Lauren Eskew, a parent of a scholarship student. Welcome to the studio. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start with you, Doug, uh -huh. and you're going to tell us um, what types of programs do you serve? Well, we're a scholarship program for kids who um, aren't wealthy. Uh, and so uh, the average family of four in our program makes about $25,000 a year mm -hmm. and they apply to us and we give out scholarships. This year we're going to give out over $600 million in scholarships wow. and they can take these scholarships to any one of 1,700 approved private schools in the state of Florida. Now it's an That's income amazing. tax, it's a, it's a tax credit program so companies like uh, Gold Coast distributors here in, in, in our area, mm -hmm. uh, they make a, a, a contribution to us, they get a tax credit from the state. And, and using that money, we, we dole out scholarships to kids across the state of Florida. Okay. And what other ways does your, your program serve students? Well, the main way is giving the scholarships. Okay. Uh, we, we give the kids the scholarships and then and their is families. Is that full scholarship? It's, this year it's about $6,400 on average. Okay. And they can take that, like I said, to anyone of about okay. 1,700 qualified private schools in the state of Florida. Okay. And how, how do you see yourself part, partnering with, with local public schools? Well, a lot of our kids go back and forth. Uh, to district schools and so um, we try to do the best we can to get them ready when they come in oftentimes they're struggling we uh, according to research we attract the highest poverty lowest performing kids in the state so a lot of our kids are struggling not all of them but some mm -hmm. of them and we try to get them in, in the best shape we possibly can mm -hmm. when they get onto the program they're all tested and it turns out they do very well academically once they're on the program mm -hmm. many of them do go back to district schools or to a charter school or to wherever mm -hmm. but we're all partners we're all in this together we're all trying to help children and we are absolutely we are we all are yes ma'am okay and Lauren how did you become involved with this I know your daughter you said is is participating in the scholarship program how did you find out about it well, my daughter decided that where she was at wasn't going to work for her, so the place we were assigned to just isn't it. So we searched every public private school available in the area and fell in love with Incarnation. Mm -hmm. um, and they, when we went in, we talked to them and they showed us Step Up as one of the options to help us pay for it. So it was a pretty easy application and we were approved fairly quickly. And what, what grade is she in? She's in eighth grade now. Okay. So it's, it goes across grade levels. It's not just high school going into college. It's K-12. K, K through 12. 12. K through 12. That's wonderful. Yeah. Because that's when it's so important for them to learn. Yeah. I mean, you, you know, know, every child is unique. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important for parents to have these options to match their child with the school that best meets their needs. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. So. What are some of the experiences um, that you've seen happen uh, after the children have received scholarships? Why don't you talk about your child? Yeah. Since she's received the scholarship, her grades have gone up. She is extremely more social with everybody, not just in school, but with the teachers, parents, and the church community. Mm -hmm. She's been able to go to Tech Trek Camp that was offered to her through her science teacher. She's also got hooked up with the Sarasota Art Community to help with that end of it as well. So they've just they expanded her out in ways that we could have done normally. Now, uh, so there's, they're in a uh, regular classroom setting. How many are typically in a classroom? At our school, there's only 13 in the eighth grade. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's like going to private school and getting one-on-one -on -one exactly. attention. That's wonderful. Well, it is private school, yeah. And, yeah. and in this case, Incarnation is a fantastic yes. Catholic school. Mm -hmm. A lot of families, you know, are, uh, the values are important. They want to put a child in an environment that reflects their values, and yes. that's really important. But really, every parent needs the right to match their child with a school that best meets their needs. Mm -hmm. Some kids do really well in large schools. Yeah. Some kids do well in small schools. Some do an art school. Some yeah. do science school. Some do faith-based schools really a, in an era of Whatever customization yeah. and giving families that flexibility is important. And, and the important thing is you want to keep it based here. Absolutely. You know, a, a company like um, a, a Gold Coast is um, in this community. Yeah. They're a great community partner. 
uh, they need to know uh, that their, their contribution is affecting this community, and it is. You know, kids in this particular area are impacted by this extraordinary company and, okay. their, and, their, and their, uh, their, their contribution to us and to the rest of the community. Okay. What advice would you give um, people, Lauren, for other parents who would like to apply for the scholarships? You definitely have a choice. You can look for whatever you're looking for at a school and go there, and they're going to tell you about the options. There's more than just the one option. Um, Step Up is a great one. Mm -hmm. They were able to give Kayla the the faith and the the growth that she needed, and so it's just a matter of going and asking. It's wonderful. Don't be to afraid see to ask. Boom, right? <laughs> wonderful. It's so, it. where can our viewers go to find out more? Stepupforstudents.org. Uh, okay. Look at the website and. Um, all kinds of information, how to apply. You can also, through that site, find schools in your community that you might be interested in. Okay. And um, One quick final question. Yes, um, is there a certain time of the year that the scholarships are available, or, or is it throughout the year that people can apply? Well, um, d we, we give priority to renewal families, and they start in October. Okay. And then uh, new families are usually in February. All right, wonderful. Thank you both so much for being here, and thank, thank you for you. all the hard work that you do, and thank good you. luck. And uh, that's great to hear about, Kayla. Thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you. you. Coming up next on Suncoast FYI, we meet the most sought after oldies group in Florida, so please stay tuned. Our next guests are members of the doo-wop group, The Gold Tones. After we speak to Ed Diana and Johnny G, The Gold Tones will be performing right here in the studio. Look at you guys. Good morning. Woo. I said think? I needed my sunglasses this morning. I love it. You guys look <laughs> really sharp. Thank you. Look you. Really sharp. It's just our casual wear. That, okay. Well, I can't wait to see what you wear on stage <laughs> then. It's every day. Um, yeah. How long has your group been together? Who, who, who start with you, John? Actually, over almost nine years, mm -hmm. I would say. And how did that happen? Uh, well, nine years ago, uh, four of us got together. Not these four, but uh, the four original founding fathers. Uh-huh. And through the course of time, uh, it changes, mm -hmm. uh, personnel changes, and each time is better and better. And the four we have now, I think, are, are uh, the best yet, so. Okay, and what type of music do you perform? Well, we've, we've evolved, as John was saying, so we, we do uh, perform uh, oldies, or doo-wop, uh, commonly known, and uh, it's, it, the demographics here in Florida just lends to it because of the age group and Absolutely, so forth that yeah. doesn't get any better than do up everybody yep. everybody loves the old absolutely yes. i agree so that's what we sing right there with you <laughs> so now do you sing a cappella all the time or do you have oh. instruments or no we, uh, we we sing to music mm -hmm. uh, but a cappella sometimes is part of what we do okay. but a whole night of that it could tend to get a little boring so we we certainly have music and people love to dance to our music yeah. they like to sing along sure that's why they're there they're that's enjoying they're it there. sure so <coughs> why are you considered the most sought after group in Florida? And what venues have you performed at? Well, Ed pays them. <laughs> <laughs> Instead so of selling benefit, tickets, yeah, you pay people to come to the venue and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the moniker of uh, uh, we're, the, we're the Florida's hottest do op group, we're the most requested, uh, that's done through, through, through our agents because of where we play. We, we're, we're a versatile group, we play all over Florida. We've gone to cities that in many cases haven't even heard of before until we started traveling. Uh, <laughs> places like Homosassa and yeah. Frostproof and things like that. And you that. can pronounce it too. Yeah, you don't ask me how. <laughs> but Frostproof. Frostproof. We played yeah. Frostproof. Yeah, it was good. It was a lot of fun. Where? But we're a versatile group. <laughs> and we do, uh, we, we, we do theaters. We do a lot of residential communities. Uh, theaters, as I mentioned, casinos. We play on cruise ships. We oh, do festivals. So we certainly get around. We have a lot of fun what we okay. do. And it's, it's that kind of interest in Florida. Yeah. It, it is. Now, I, I know you're going to be, be performing Saturday night. Can you tell us a little bit about that, John? And, and uh, uh, I don't have no idea where we're going to be. He just tells <laughs> you where to go and you show uh, We're going to be at the Venice Theater <laughs> September oh, yeah. 9th, to, uh, based on the taping tomorrow night, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been doing this now. This will be our fourth year at Venice Theater. We always have a sellout. We're proud to proud to say it. And the reason for it is that the uh, Venice Theater. This is a uh, uh, for the scholarship uh, fund for the Venice Theater. So we always like helping out. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, it's, wonderful. It's a, it's and a, tickets still available at this point? Uh, t tickets are available. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So they should call as soon as possible. Yeah. Box yes. Okay. Yes. Get in there. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to be bringing up your other two members. Yeah. 
and you're going to be doing a little a cappella doo-wop song for our audience? Yeah, we're going okay. to bring cool. it back to 1959 or so, thereabouts, Okay, uh, and with Dion and the Belmonts, uh, I one, one of their songs. Yeah. And it's just, that's my desire well, is the I'm, name of the song. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Who, yeah. who are the other two gentlemen that you're, will be joining you that are in your group? We, What's their names again? Uh, 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 Mike Nelson, <laughs> yeah. uh, who is our, our uh, baritone or bass, and uh, Gary Blumberg, which is our second tenor. And uh, the four of us make the gold tones. And we've, we've been doing this for quite a while, and we enjoy it. We have a lot of fun. Well, thank you. Uh, we'll see you back here shortly yeah. to, uh, to hear you sing. Good. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. You're welcome. When we return, the gold tones will be performing, so please stay with us. Baum, 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 sherry, sherry. Whoa, 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 desire, desire. Whoa, 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 to spend one night with you in our old rendezvous. Sherry, I love you so. That's my desire. Sherry, I love you so, oh, oh, that's my desire, whoa, 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 to sip a little glass of wine, I'll gaze into your eyes, tuning in to this week's episode of Suncoast FYI. We will return after a short break. Coming up this week on the Suncoast, this is the last weekend to view Selby Gardens photographic exhibition. The Sarasota Opera House will be hosting Taste of Downtown tomorrow, September 9th. There will be different menu samplings and desserts to pair with wine, beverage, and cocktails. Michael's Wine Cellar will be hosting an open house wine tasting tomorrow at 2 p.m. If you would like to promote your community event on Suncoast FYI, we would really love to hear from you. Just call us at 941-361-4639. To view previous episodes, go to snntv.com under programming. And we'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.